Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. Today I'll guide you on how to use Google Sheets in automations. Let's get started. First, setting up your Google Sheets integration. If you haven't set up your Google Sheets integration yet, here are three easy ways to do it. The first method is through Workspace Preferences. All we need to do is head over to Preferences, select Workspace, then select Integrations, and select your Google Sheets integration. Here, you will see a button to sign into your Google account. Let's go ahead and hit that. Select your profile. Hit continue. Consent to the information that Texo has access to. And there you go. Your account has been connected. Let's go ahead and make sure that it's there. Here it is. Another method to connect your Google Sheets account is through workflows. Let's go ahead and try that. Head over to workflow. Head over to integrations. Select Google Sheets. Choose any automation from the list and add it to your workflow. Here, what we need to do is we need to double click on that node in order to set it up. And within the setup pop-up, you will have a button to connect your Google account again. And the third method would be through automations. Let's go ahead and see how that one will work. Head over to the automation store, choose any automation, select Google Sheets as an input, And here again, you will have the sign in with Google button that you can use in order to connect your account. Once you have set up your Google account integration, we can proceed with the automation. Let's review how to set up the automation. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have set up a sample sheet with LinkedIn profile URLs to use, to use with the profile scraper automation. A very important step in formatting your Google Sheet is to ensure that each column has a header. This allows you to map each column correctly to the specific automation fields. For example, in my spreadsheet, I have P URLs as a header, which is the header of my profile URLs. Let's go ahead and set up the profile scraper automation. I'll start from scratch, select the automation, select Google Sheets as input, here you will need to choose your Google account if you have more than one account linked or if you want to link another one. You will see the button open Google Drive in order to select your spreadsheet, go ahead and press that. This will populate all of the spreadsheets from your account. Select the spreadsheet that you would like to use and hit the select button. Your spreadsheet name will appear beside the spreadsheet button. Here you can select uh, which, spread, which sheet you want to use. For example, if your spreadsheet has more than one sheet, uh, sheet one, two, three, etc. You can select that over here. In my case, I have only one sheet in my spreadsheet, so I will go ahead and select that. And here you will need to map the automation field to the headers from your Google Sheet. This is why I said it's important to have profile to have uh, headers in your columns. In my case, 
uh, the header for profile URLs was P URLs. So I will go ahead and select that. Make sure that you select the correct header always. You will notice here that we have loop, loop mode option. The loop mode is very important because it allows you to run the automation continuously. After your entire sheet has been processed, the automation will restart and it will run continuously. Another thing that you might want to have in mind is the automation limits. Keep in mind that the limit for each automation could be different. For example, if your daily limit is 50 and your Google Sheet has um, 100 rows, the automation will stop when the limit is reached and it will continue the next day when the limit is renewed. This means that one automation can take more than one day to complete and it will have multiple executions. Now let's go ahead and run this automation. While your automation is running, you will see a stop button. It will appear here shortly over here. This button stops future executions. If you want to stop only the current execution of this automation, use the small X button under the status. Like this. That's it. Using Google Sheets and automations with Texo is a powerful way to streamline your tasks. Explore these options and see how they can help you enhance your workflow. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.